next section, we are going to be solving equations having like terms and parentheses. My objective for you to learn today is solving equations using the distributive property. In our example one on using this distributive property, homecoming is in two weeks. For the game, the cheerleaders want to buy a banner that costs $47. They also want to buy small items to give to the students in the stands. Pom-poms cost $5.20 each. Noisemakers cost $0.80 cents each. The cheerleaders have a total budget of $375 for the game. If they buy equal number of pom-poms and noisemakers, how many can they afford to buy? So I'm going to underline some important information. If you want to call out important information for me to underline, let me know. What is something important that I should underline? Yes. Uh, $375. Is their total budget. Pom-poms are $5.20 each. What else is important there? Yes. Banner, that's 47 and then the last information is going to be noisemakers are 80 cents each. So the question is, if they buy an equal number of pom-poms and noisemakers, how many can they afford to buy? So we're going to set up that they can't get go over 375. So why don't we go ahead and set that up? Something that's going to have at least equal 375, it cannot go over. So we're wanting to know the number of pom-poms that they can buy. So let's do $5.20 times in plus 80 cents times in plus the banner, which is $47, equals $375. Because we're trying to determine how many of each they can afford. So now when we add 520 plus 80, we have $6 with our variable n plus 47 is equal to 375. Again, using our two-step operation, we are going to subtract 47 from each side. Now I'm just going to drop the decimal for right now. 6n is equal to... 328, divide each side by 6, n is going to be equal to, if you were to divide that, you would have 54 whole numbers and two-thirds part of a fraction. But the answer must be a whole number, so you're going to round down so that the budget does not exceed. So your final answer is going to be 54 pom-poms and 54 noisemakers so that you can buy these along with your banner and you will not exceed your budget of $375. So again, the answer is 54 of each so that you don't go over your budget. So I should have worked it out on this solution, but that was for your notes. So I'll go to the next one, how we're going to use the distributive property. You can use the distributive property to solve equations involving parentheses. In our example two, we're going to solve equations using the distributive property. So let's look at A. We have negative 21 is equal to, what number is being distributed inside the parentheses class? Seven. So seven times three is 21. Then I'm going to have, you can bring down your subtraction, seven times x is seven x. Or another way you can think of it is seven times negative x is negative seven x. Now I'm trying to simplify this. So I'm going to do what to each side? Yes? Oh, uh, add each side. No, add seven. Add, add 21. 21 to each side. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait, 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 wait. 
so you subtract 21 because if I why am I going to subtract it instead of why am I going to subtract it yes So when I subtract 21 minus 21, remember what I said yesterday in the notes, bring down that negative sign. Negative 21 minus 21 is? 42. Negative 42. Now to each side, I'm going to divide by negative 7. 6 is equal to x. I'm going to go back and check my sign. 6 times negative 7 is negative 42. So now in B, I'm going to distribute negative 3 to everything inside the parentheses. Negative 3 times 8 is negative 24. Negative 3 times negative 4x is going to be a positive 12x is equal to 12. I'm going to add 24 to each side. X is equal to 3. In example 3, we're going to be combining like terms after distributing. So we're going to solve this problem. We're going to go ahead and bring the 5x down. Now I'm going to distribute negative 2 to everything in the parentheses. Negative 2 times x is negative 2x. Negative 2 times negative 1 is a positive 2, and that's going to equal 8. Now as instructor, we're going to combine our like terms after we distribute. So 5x minus 2x is 3x. Bring the rest of it down. Now I'm going to subtract 2 from each side. And x is equal to 2. So let's practice these. We have three practice problems using the distributive property. I'm going to pause the video, let you work it, and then come back and check your answer. So let's review these problems. Number one, you combine your like terms. 3n plus 2n equals 5n. You added 40 to each side, then divided by 5. You're going to look. Number two, you distributed 2 to everything inside the parentheses. Then you added 2 to each side, then divided by 2 to each side. Number 13, first of all, you use the distributive property. Please be very careful as to the sign that is in front of the number. That would be you would, on number 3, you would be distributing negative 3 to everything on the inside of the parentheses. Your final answer should be negative 25 is equal to y because you do not want a negative variable. Practice. A bookstore spent $241 to send a group of students to a reading competition. Each student who won was given a $5 gift certificate and a personalized bookmark that cost $2. Included in the $241 was $45 for the salary of a staff member who accompanied them to the competition. How many students won the prize? Let's underline important information. Yes? So that is going to tell me right off the bat that it's going to equal $241. There was $45 for the salary. That sounds like a constant term. That will not change. Change. And then we needed to know the gift certificate number and the personalized bookmark. 
how many students won prizes. We can determine that by the gift certificates and the personalized gift, personalized bookmark. So let's say we have five in, because we don't know how many students there were, plus two in. Again, we do not know how many students there were, but each one got a gift certificate. Each one got a personalized bookmark. So I took five in plus two in plus the $45 that they had to pay the uh, individual who company. So now we're going to combine our like terms. So once we use our two-step equations, the final answer, there were 28 students. Now I'm going to ask for you to solve A, B, C, come back, and check your work. So on A, we distributed 2 to everything inside the parentheses then did two step equations. B, we distributed negative two to everything inside the parentheses. Please remember negative two times 17 was negative 34. Negative two times a negative three K is positive six K. Then finished up with the inverse operations. And then on C, negative three is being distributed to everything on the inside of the parentheses. Solution for, no, for, for B was K is equal to 2, C, K is equal to 10. In our next practice problem, the length of a rectangle is 5 more than twice its width. Its perimeter is 88 feet. Find the dimension. This is difficult. Draw a rectangle. To find the perimeter, it's two lengths plus two widths. What do we know about our length? Our length is five more than twice its width. So we're going to have length is equal to width is equal to. Width is going to be x. What do we know about our length? That it is 5 more than twice. So 2x plus 5. So in our original one, its perimeter is equal to 2 lengths plus 2w. That's what you've known for a while now. Length is twice. 2 times more than, excuse me, the rectangle is 5 more than twice its width. So now we're going to use our information in the formula. So perimeter is going to equal 2 length plus w, perimeter is equal to 2, our length, we're going to come over here and look at the length, 2x plus 5, and our width is x. Now we're going to use a distributive property, 4x plus 10 plus 2x. Perimeter is equal to 6x plus 10. Now, the information that they've given you is 88 feet for being the perimeter. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change my P's to 88 feet.
going to subtract 10 from each side. 78 is equal to 6x. Then you're going to divide each side by 6. So I'm going to divide this side by 6, divide this side by 6. 13 feet is equal to x. But notice, x is my width. So my width is going to be 13 feet. And my length is going to be 2x plus 5. So 2 times 13 is 26. 26 plus 5 is 31. So my length is 31 feet. We have learned how to solve equations having like terms and parentheses, using them in problem solving and examples.